Uh, well, it's been an intense relationship throughout my career. Uh, in the beginning, uh, I think uh, French history, uh, historiography, particularly the Annal School, was uh, greatly influential in the United States in changing the way history was written here. Uh, so, uh, a very crucial influence. Uh, since that time, the focal point, if, if one can put it that way, of American interest in French intellectual life has, has shifted, as far as I can judge, uh, in various ways, uh, from social history to uh, cultural history to uh, philosophy, uh, the work of, of French literary theory, uh, French social theory, French political theory. Um, all these have been important at one time or another. Uh, it's hard to establish a hierarchy. I would say that the hierarchy has shifted over the years, uh, but that's from my particular vantage point. I can't speak for all American scholars, uh, but I think uh, it's been uh, uh, a very uh, a useful relationship for Americans. Uh, what is most interesting, perhaps, is that uh, French scholars have become more interested uh, in the 30 years, 37 years that I've been doing this, in work being done in the United States. In the beginning, that was not true at all. Uh, and it was relatively rare to find among French historians uh, anyone who spoke English very well. Some of them spoke English uh, uh, with difficulty. But nowadays, it's not uncommon at all to find people who are uh, well-versed in English and keep up in uh, the scholarship uh, in England and the United States, uh, even though they're working in France. So the relationship has become a more equal one as uh, uh, American scholarship has begun to be influential in France. And of course, it's become easier for scholars to travel back and forth across the ocean uh, uh, over this time. And the personal contacts, uh, I think, uh, help to cement that relationship even more.